Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So, with the pricing falling for GPUs as of now, RTX 3070 GPU prices has finally dropped below MSRP, which was not the case previously. And it was on MSRP for a little while, but now 3070 has been fallen, which is a nice thing to see. And it is retailing for 469.99 as of now, 470 bucks, sometimes 465.99, 466, or in Europe it's 449 euros for Zotac. RTX 3070 which is a nice deal like 3070 is also relevant as of now but with less VRAM we still don't know how it will fare with HB of VRAM but on New York you can say it's cheap and also in Europe mostly in Germany there was 9% decline in RTX 4090 pricing so it is retailing for 1749 which is lower than 1949 which was previously so 9% cheaper compared to its original MSRP which is 1679 do note it has value added tax so it is with more and next up we have some news regarding AV1 encoding NVIDIA launched AV1 encoding for its AV1 encoding for its GPUs and now OBS has supported it with its new update and yeah they said the like agent NVNC in GeForce RTX 40 can deliver more performance compared to every other basically AV1 encoding is uh, is the next evolution of H H.264 and H.265 and it is an open source so yeah it is 40% faster compared to H.265 so yeah pretty nice it's 30% more efficient than H.265 so you can stream more data basically on the YouTube platform or Twitch compared to H2 H.265 because mostly every YouTuber uses H.265 as of now but now soon it will be changed to AV1 encoding which is like faster and they said like with nvidia's implementation you can get more performance out of it and also more stability and more improvement to the graphics and quality and stuff but I, we still don't know how it will pan out but in the end outer outside test needs to be done on this so we will know for it for sure like they compared it with a 7900 xt rtx 4080 and rk 770 with obs and the the images shows like Nvidia's encoding technique is more superior compared to all to other encoding but you we still need to see it by third party because it this comes from only Nvidia we should trust it but not that much then it might be good it might not be good third party reviews need are necessary in this scenario but everyone encoding it's pretty nice next up we have some news regarding AMD and these are pretty nice news because 7600 we know like there will be 7600 series launching very soon uh, during Computex and this just confirms it because during the not the press conference but the stakeholder meeting Lisa Su said like earnings call this she said like RX 7000 series more, more first party RX 7000 series GPUs are coming very soon in the first quarter so basically they are launching it right now during Computex this just confirms it and lastly for today we have some nice news because it comes from ROCM which which is a repository for ROCM for AMD and there is a pull request but the pull request has been taken down as of now but some reddit has got the hands on it and it's on reddit and it shows 7950XTX this just basically confirms from the R OCM contributors and it comes from our one, our one of the ROCM contributors and here you, we can see various other GPUs also like RX 7600 as 7500 XT 7600 XT 7700 XT so it might be on the coming 7800 XT 7900 XT and 7900 XTX but the first thing is 7950 XT and 7950 XTX so maybe AMD has something in store which is more powerful and come can go to to do with rtx 4090 because they said like they will be able if they had pushed the gps to its limit they would be able to do it like they would be able to compete at high end for 4090 but they didn't want to have that power draw and stuff that's why they didn't do it as of now but maybe they are planning to do it right now with 7950 xt series we just have to wait and see but yeah we know it from the status call so yeah, let's just see what happens. But I'm pretty excited. We have 7950 XT, and do note the 50 refresh is only steady for high end and not mid range and low end, 
which is there for which was there for seven six thousand series there was like mid range refresh and low end refresh but this time they are planning only for high end to be refreshed which is a thing and we also saw some rumors about it but this were that were rumor specs but this just basically confirms it that there are talks and there are working going on for 7950 xt x so yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out